The iPhone 8 is going to be huge, and it had better be because it marks the 10th anniversary of the original iPhone. Here's eight things you need to know about Apple's next big flagship. Expect three new models from Apple when it comes to the iPhone 8, and they're not all going to be named that. Think of the iPhone 7S and the 7S Plus as being refreshes of today's versions. But the iPhone 8 is going to be the big story. That'll probably have a 5.8 inch display, and the 7S and 7S Plus will have today's sizes of 4.7 and 5.5 inches. Apple's been playing catch up with Samsung for a long time when it comes to sex appeal, but the iPhone 8 should change that with an all new design, and it'll be rimmed on the outside by stainless steel, reminiscent of the iPhone 4S. We've been saying for years that Samsung's Galaxy phones have a better display because OLED gives you better color and better contrast. But it's not just about that. The iPhone 8 will probably have a wraparound design because OLED gives you that flexibility. Are you sick of being unable to unlock your iPhone because you have Cheetos on your fingers? Well, the iPhone 8 will probably solve that because the Touch ID will be built into the display itself, so it'll probably be more sensitive. The other thing is that the iPhone 8 is rumored to have face recognition in the front, so you might not have to use your hands at all. Apple is way late to the game when it comes to wireless charging, but this is a rumored feature that we'd love to see because it'll just make using the iPhone 8 that much more convenient. The question is whether or not you'll be able to use wireless charging at a distance, as Apple is partnering with a company called Energis. It might not happen until 2018. Tim Cook says that Apple is really big on augmented reality, and the iPhone 8 should see that vision come to fruition. The company is supposedly working with the camera to make the iOS operating system recognize objects around you and tell you what's going on in the frame. This will be huge for third-party apps, assuming Apple opens augmented reality to third-party developers. Unnamed sources are saying that Siri is about to get a lot smarter. Apple acquired a company called Turi that specializes in machine learning back in August, and we expect Apple to leverage its purchase in time for the iPhone 8. Apple's been pretty consistent about releasing new iPhones in September, and we don't expect that to change but we do expect a new price tier. The iPhone 8 could cost as much as $850, but the iPhone 7S and 7S Plus will probably be in the same range as today. Stay tuned to Tom's Guide for all the latest iPhone 8 rumors, and stick around for our full review and test results come September. For Tom's Guide, this is Mark Spoonauer.